with this particular plan, we planned for um, soils, for water, for trees, for wildlife and their habitats, and for our air. And we want to plan for these because natural resources are part of Anderson County's assets. Um, ultimately, they are linked to everything else. So as one soil may be designated as a prime soil, which means that it is best used for agricultural purposes, another soil may cause the land to be a wetland. Uh, also, all living things, whether it's plants, animals, people, we all need clean air and water to survive. So the quantity and the quality of those are extremely important to us. And finally, trees, not only are they uh, habitat for wildlife and not only do they play a central role in keeping our water and our air clean, but it also has been shown to increase the property value and to boost tourism and economic development. So ultimately what we want is a healthy community overall. We want healthy people, we want a healthy economic outlook, and we want a healthy natural environment. So we have several projects that are ongoing with Anderson County. Uh, firstly, we do have a air quality awareness campaign called Breathe Clean Anderson, which is operated through our Planning and Community Development Department. And while this is an ongoing um, year-round campaign, we do focus um, and are more active during the March to October ozone season. Another project we've got in the works currently is our green infrastructure plan. And when you think of green infrastructure, that's just another way of saying natural resources. Just as we have great infrastructure, whether it's our roads, our sewer, and our utilities, we call our underlying natural environment green infrastructure. And what we're doing with this is we are inventorying and mapping all of our natural assets. And then together with the community, we are trying to develop some goals and some strategies on how to make sure that we continue to plan for these natural resources and these assets in other plans. And then finally, we have the project in which uh, is right behind me, our Rocky River Nature Park. This is one of the projects from the Rocky River Conservancy. And this is a collaboration um, with citizens, Anderson University, the city of Anderson, and Anderson County to ensure the cleanup and preservation of the Rocky River Swamp and the surrounding areas around this. We are here uh, today at one of the trailheads uh, for the Rocky River Conservancy. Uh, approximately about 180 acres of property that's a part of what we are planning to uh, create as Rocky River Nature Park. Much of our property in the park is within the city limits uh, of Anderson, which makes it very unique where we stand here today in uh, front of this trailhead. We're approximately uh, three miles or, or less from downtown Anderson. What makes this uh, property unique as well, uh, it is the largest wetland that you would find within the city limits, certainly within this region of perhaps the south, southeast. So it's an exciting project. It's been recognized in a number of ways broadly. Uh, the South Carolina Wildlife Foundation has recognized this property with an award. Uh, uh, we're partnering with Upstate Forever, and we've uh, been recognized with one of their Forever Green Awards and the project has been recognized by 10 at the top uh, with one of their uh, projects as well. Initially, what we've been able to do and we're continually uh, refining is uh, uh, opening the park up to the community, uh, which it is now. Um, uh, it's, the park is open seven days a week from dusk uh, to dawn. Uh, so community folks are using the park now for uh, outdoor activities here. Uh, we're going to continue to open up trails, expanding the trails. Uh, we plan for boardwalks out in the swamp. And one thing that makes this quite unique is you can actually get into the swamp or at the swamp uh, without wearing your hip waders. Uh, so we're creating some boardwalks. We look forward to uh, connecting with properties uh, uh, further south that we have. Uh, there's potential, right now said we have about 185 acres, there's potential for another 200 acres to be added uh, to the park that really does expand the, the, the vision uh, that we have. Soon, much of this property will be placed in a conservation uh, easement. Uh, what's planned for here uh, is passive uh, recreational opportunities for hiking, uh, bird watching, 
conservation, um, uh, more of a passive kind of uh, park as opposed to active recreational uh, activities. So um, we're excited about its potential. The sky's the limit in terms of what potential the park will have. Uh, it just takes time, but we feel like uh, we're uh, uh, making good progress. Uh, uh, collaboration has never been better uh, between the partners that are involved and with the broader recognition that we've uh, had across the state and region through some of the uh, uh, awards we've been able to receive uh, gives us a lot of encouragement about the future here.